Hey, what's up folks? Jesse here with Southern Reels and it is a Thursday evening and I just realized that, you know, I hadn't done a vlog in a long time. So here we are. I'm gonna catch you guys up on what all's going on outside of fishing and working because it's definitely the season right now. Uh, work is booming for me. I've been busy as I can be. Fishing as much as I can as well and family time and everything in the mix. There's just been limited time. So my, unfortunately my little vlogs have suffered. But anyway, I'm super stoked right now because the annual uh, family beach vacation has come around. I'll actually be at the Outer Banks all next week. Uh, plan on fishing as much as I can. Unfortunately, looking at the weather forecast, it's kind of looking crappy, but hey, what can you do, right? I do plan on taking one of my kayaks with me and I'm taking the Outback. And you know, I've had a bunch of people ask me recently, why are you fishing out of the Outback so much? Well, honestly, I've had some issues with my Pro Angler. Y'all know I did a bunch of upgrades to it. The process of getting all of those dialed in, it's, it was a lot of changes. Uh, the sonar system is on point. It gives an incredible image. I mean, now that I have it dialed and know how to set it, the down imaging picture out of that thing is unbelievable. 3D imaging is nice to be able to see what side scan is showing you. I mean, it really doesn't help you so much as far as finding fish and stuff, but it allows you to interpret what side scan has been showing me all along and actually translate that into an actual 3D image. So it's very nice to have. But the downside to the system is the added weight of it plus the battery required to run it weighs 30 pounds. Um, there is no solution for it. It pulls almost three amps of power and it would run through a typical um, kayak battery in about two and a half, three hours. So. I had to go with a larger battery to be able to make it through a full day of fishing and lightest one that I could find is like 30 pounds so that's a huge amount of weight to add to any kayak. Luckily the Pro Angler has capacity for it. I do have it mounted very low in the hole actually at the very bottom of the hole so it kind of acts like a counterbalance in a way it did even stabilize the kayak a little bit but you know handling the kayak you definitely feel that it's in there. Um, the other thing is the Torquedo motor that's on the back of it. Love it, absolutely love it. It's expensive, crazy expensive, but I tell you, at the end of the day, it is so nice to have. It being hooked to the kayak steering system, I have found out is not a good idea. For one, there's too much stress on the system because when that motor is under load, pushing the kayak, and it's got that bushing at the top of it loaded, you know, at an angle, the amount of force required to steer that motor is more than you should ever subject your rudder control cables to. And I'm pretty confident that's what accelerated the wear and, and caused my cables to break on me, you know, a few trips back. Pretty much the last time you saw the Pro Angler. So I ordered new cables for it. Uh, there was a 700 pound version that comes stock in it. And then I saw there was a thousand pound Spectra cable that you could get. So I tried the thousand, put it all in it, crawled up inside of it, pulled it all through it, pain in the butt, to say the least. And I took it out this past weekend fishing. And unfortunately, I didn't anticipate that the thousand pound tip seems to have more stretch to it than the other did. And by the end of the day, it had stretched so much, the cables that run from the front to the back that I literally lost half of my rudder movement. So I was a bit frustrated with that. So much so that I'm taking it back out and going back to the stock setup. Pretty much what I get for trying to redesign something that I'm sure engineers put a lot of time on, but don't know unless you try. Um, but the conclusion is, number one, I have to get the motor off of the rotor control system for the kayak because it's too much stress on it. So therefore, I'm going to have to come up with my own mounting solution or my own steering solution for it. And also, hey Dozy, I'm show my bully dog down here. Let's see my bulldog to come to see me. <laughs> um, the other issue that I'm having is the motor it sticks out the back of the kayak so far. When you have it folded up and you're out fishing, check this out. You fold this thing up and pull it out of the water. That's pretty much how it sits out the back of the kayak. And I can tell you too many times already in the few trips that I've had this thing out, I've almost backed this thing up on rocks or slammed it into a pylon. So I definitely have to redesign that. That's just not going to work. And what I want to do is make it to where there's an arm that like folds it up here, like up and over this area entirely and gets it out of the way because it's it just costs way too much money to even take a chance like that. So the Pro Angler, you know, it's kind of in the shop right now is the best way to put it. I got to get the steering issue fixed. I did take it fishing this past weekend. I had a blast in it, caught some fish, video pending. And it's, I don't know, it's just anytime you customize something, 
That's just how it is. You have to work the bugs out of it. I do plan to take the Outback with me to the beach. I actually already have it on the trailer ready to go. I did update my trailer to where I can carry both kayaks. Pretty much just added a crossbar. Um, redid the boards on it, put some carpet on it, nothing fancy. I've got it to where I can move them around and carry one or two or both pretty simply. So that's a nice setup. I did do some accessorizing to the Outback. I don't think I showed you this. I do have the larger rudder blade on the back. I did the Hobie Crate Jr. here. It's just nice, it gives you that vertical rod storage, which is so nice. Keeps your rods from getting hung on the pylons and stuff from sticking out at an angle out of the built-in rod holders. I did a little ram tube here that is actually mounted on the boondocks landing gear, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, a bunch of mounts and stuff, pretty much for uh, mounting cameras. You know, a ram ball here for mounting whatever. I did the Lawrence Hook 4 sonar system. Incredible for 160, 170 bucks. And it has down imaging in it. I didn't even realize that. And the picture that it gives you is impressive. Really all you ever need in a kayak. Um, I run it with a little Nakua 10 amp hour battery that I found. It's a very small, it only weighs like two and a half pounds. It'll run the thing for literally two full days of fishing. So it's really all you could ever need for a kayak. I did do the square hatch upgrade right here, which was very neat. I think necessary. It gave me that extra storage. That's nice. It's like 120 bucks for the whole kit. And you pretty much just Take the old one out, lay it up here, cut it out, bolt it together. It's super simple. Definitely recommend that. I taped up the hole pretty much. I did the basic thing like everybody does, run a piece of water hose around it, tape it up with duct tape. It gave me some hole protection. I admit it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all, but you know what? Neither is a kayak that scratched all the hill, so it works. Now, I did try some alternatives as far as the tape. I bought this tape right here called a uh, gaff tape. That's what everybody online was talking about. I was like, ooh, I actually found some in blue. That'll look good. You know, put it on my kayak, took it out in the water. Half of it fell off, water hose dangling. That looked awesome. So I call it laugh tape, not gaff tape. Went to Lowe's, bought some good old Gorilla tape, Gorilla duct tape, and it ain't gone nowhere. So anyway, if y'all have a better solution for that, please let me know. Uh, now for the best upgrade I have ever done to either of my kayaks. And I am straight up with that. The Boondocks landing gear. This stuff is awesome. I was skeptical. I had a friend that had it on his kayak, got to see it firsthand, purchased it, put it on both of mine, and I absolutely love it. No longer do I have to worry about backing my trailer into the water. I can pretty much park, unstrap my kayaks, slide them back a little bit, pull this out, and just rotate them down, lock them in, roll it right off on the ground, load it up with everything, pick it up, wheel it right to the water, back it right in the water jump in it paddle away from shore rotate them up lock them in and go i mean it is so much easier especially when you're landing now i got the ones with the plastic wheels on it and as you see here they're hollow and they work great everywhere except for beach launching now if you're if you're on sand you got to have these here um, now i was able to take these um, off of my hobie cart and adapt them over to Boondock signing gear, Wheelies actually sells an adapter kit that allows you to do that. But the downside to these is they have flotation, of course, because there's air in them. So you can't rotate these down and put it in the water and then rotate them up. It's just, there's too much force against the arm for you to really be able to do it. But I'll only use these on the Outback because this is pretty much gonna be the only kayak that I beach launch anymore, but just because of the weight. And it's so easy just to rotate it up on its side and change them out and just wheel it right to the truck. Now, this one here, or actually this one as well, anytime that I take it somewhere that there's a boat ramp, you know, you can literally back it right into water with the landing gear down, paddle away from the boat ramp, and then just, you know, slide them out, rotate them up, slide them back in and lock them down and go. And it's the same way when you land, you pretty much pull up to the boat ramp or close, pull them out, put them down, slide them back in, and you can paddle right up to the boat ramp, walk right off the front and grab it, and walk right up the boat ramp right to your truck. There's no hesitation there whatsoever. It's really nice because it gets you out of everybody's way in a hurry, and it just gets you out of the water and back home in a hurry <laughs> because you usually wore the hell out at that point. Highly recommend the Boondocks landing gear, I love it. I would definitely get it straight from Boondocks though, because there's a lot of older kits still out there. They've redesigned their stuff. All of their kits now have longer arms that got rid of the, the hole clearance issue on some kayaks. And also the little thumb screw that used to be up here 
that you would tighten up to secure the arms in, they did away with it. Because honestly, they had a lot of issues with the, well, mainly with people leaving them in the kayak, driving down the road, and then falling out. And it happened to a friend of mine, and it sucked, you know. And of course, the company wouldn't stand behind it, you know, probably because they couldn't afford to. So they redesigned it, and now they offer a bungee cord to basically strap across them and hold them in. If you're driving down the road for any distance, I would definitely recommend just sliding them out, throw them in the back of your truck. It just makes sense. So anyway, that's pretty much it. That's where I'm at right now. I do plan on doing a lot of fishing at the beach, dropping some videos if possible. I've got a couple videos that I've already done that are gonna roll out over the next week. I'm actually running behind right now in the editing because I've been so busy. Oh yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching my stuff. I cannot believe how much my channel's grown this summer. I mean, a couple months ago, I had a thousand subscribers. I finally hit a thousand. I was so stoked about that. I mean, it's not even been two months and now here I am almost at 2000, literally right there at it. And it, it just blows me away. So thank you. I'm very humble. I'm glad you enjoy my content. I do work hard to make it as good as I can. I'm gonna keep it up and hopefully be able to keep you guys entertained and coming back for more. So that's what's up. I uh, got a lot of packing to do. Get ready for this trip and thanks. Peace out.